Earlier this year, we announced that we were going to explore the idea of integrating a health card with a driver's license or identification card. And again, a public consultation was undertaken, no, 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 and as see. Minister McIntosh mentioned, we got the yeah. thumbs up on it. Manitobans are very excited about this idea, and again, it's wonderful to be here with Ward Keith, the Vice President of Business uh, Development and Communication, because and, and also to, on behalf of government to thank everyone at MPI for the work that they did with us on this. And what I'd like to indicate for folks here is you can see that there's some examples of the kinds of what the cards would look like, but this will be our new uh, photo identification card or pick. So if you are already someone with a Manitoba driver's license, it'll go on the back. If you're someone in need of a personal identification card, again, all in one, free to all Manitobans. And what it will do is it will ensure that our privacy is protected. It's important to note that Manitoba Public Insurance will have no access to personal health or prescription drug records. The health information uh, will be on the card. It will be available as a virtual health card. The driver's license aspect will be, um, could happen down the road. Um, that will not be it will not be an electronic driver's license. It will be an electronic health care card, however. But this allows for our movement towards an electronic driver's license. That, that is very, very leading edge. And in fact, there's two states south of the border that are now just currently looking at the pros and cons of that in Iowa and New Jersey. So whether we get to that, but we're going to do this in a, in a way that's sure-footed and, and start with the health information, which of course, as all Manitobans know, are, is absolutely critical to your well-being.